What's special about today? It's Christmas party day! Christmas party time! Party time! Party time! Merry Christmas Eve! Yeah! What? Oh my god! Yeah. Where are we going now, Charlotte? To the curb! Oh, <laughs> My Rose Lucky, is it Christmas yet? For me, it's felt like Christmas for over a week, yeah. Just in case you weren't Christmassy enough, what are we about to do? We're gonna go decorate a Christmas tree with white company decoration. Cue the Christmas music. Is that all the decoration done? I think so. What do you think, Rich? I think it's pretty cool, but something missing. I know. What are we going to put on the top? Why don't we quickly go on the White Company website and we can get them to send us one Christmas. Do they do a stuff at the top? This is their large glitter snowflake Christmas tree topper from the White Company. We're going to get them to send it over? We're going to get them to send one over so that we can finish our tree off perfectly. What's happening now? We are doing the daily copy run through for tomorrow's email. So far, so good. We're on page three without much said. Well done, how are you? But we're about to hit a big wholesale change. Are there any more tangible links that we can put in there? More yeah, we can put links in. Called the bank. Feels quite vague to me, like, hi, oh, it's PC. I would agree to take that out. I do yeah. think it's but I'd like to see some like specific places you go to to yeah, make we can happen. replace that. Just coming, just coming. There, talk about that after this meeting. Okay, thank you, thank you. How did that go? That was just a quick review of the copy for tomorrow. How's it looking? A few changes today, actually. Everything's not quite right. But how's Harriet doing? She's doing great. She's, I think she's brilliant, like her a lot. What are we about to do now? So we're now about to have a full house meeting. We've got a guy from Key for Life, charity that helps men getting back into work, coming in to do a three day work placement with us. It's called Maya, he's coming in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. He was in prison before this? Yep, he was in prison. He's been on tag for six months. He's a great guy who didn't have the lucky start that lots of us had in life and got into some bad stuff, went to prison, but really wants to change his life. Really excited to come here and work with us all. We can give him a bit of an oversight as to what we do, Just help him get something on his TV. And then who knows? Just gonna have a meeting with everybody, let them know he's coming in. We'll treat him like anybody else, but equally, people need to understand why he's here, what the purpose is. Just be informed, because it's something new for us. Oh, lots of people. I chatted to everyone who was here on Wednesday about Key for Life. We're gonna have someone come and join us for a three day work placement as of tomorrow. I think it's a really a positive thing. I'm really excited that he's coming. If it goes well, then hopefully, we might be able to help other people and also do some PR for the charity. If you've got any queries, feel free to email me or lots. How did that go? Good, I think. I hope everyone's on board. Once he's here and everyone's met him, he's a great guy. Guy. Charming guy, he's chatty. I liked him a lot when I met him. I think everyone will really like him. Good, I'm excited. I'm really pleased to get involved. Hopefully, it can be the start of a sort of longer partnership with Keith Life for Sherlock. There are so many great calls that has had to pick a cause. For me, this is something that I've always felt quite strongly about. So, hopefully, we can give these guys a chance to experience a different kind of life. Georgie Corey's call. What's on your desk? You're not going to be that excited, Rich. But it's going to be fun, right? Where's it from? Effortless trading. Oh, the balls. Is it the, the balls? balls? Oh, no. Aren't they great? What have we got here, Laura? Some bowls. Look at those. Laura and I love these bowls. Oh, look. What do you like about them? I mean, they're amazing. Aren't they just gorgeous? What are you going to put in them? Everything, anything. They're so they really gorgeous. Cool. They're handmade and fair trade cooperatives in Rwanda. Yeah. Straight between the Blasky. Georgina Blasky. Oh, where are they from? We thought we'd put them in interiors by. Oh my god, they're gorgeous. I've never seen bowls like this elicit this kind of response. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so heavy. Seven pounds. Is that those like seven pounds? Mm. 45, that That's one. 45. 70. Oh. Of course, I like the expensive. Yeah, there you go. Check it out. So Effortlesstrading.co.uk. I need a things I love on the show now. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Rich is like, <laughs> okay, girls, keep cool. <laughs> Lovely. I knew she, I knew she liked them. Yeah, I'll tell you what this is. Laura, this is more. This is the paint for my kitchen, I think. This is bowel work. This really cool. cool. We need to write about this. Georgina Blasky, this is for you too. <laughs> you're back in, you're back in. Don't sit down for too long. I have to leave my envy out there. That's a brush. Lime washing brush. Lime, Lime wash onto wood. No, no walls. walls. I've gone for alabaster. It goes like that. Oh. So it's quite subtle. So it's kind yeah. of mottled. Yeah. Well, isn't it? You see. Oh, I do like that. We're okay. excited too. Oh, I'm excited about this now, yeah. More than the bowls. I got quite stuck watching them do it. So look at this. The first thing we do is give the paint a really good 
instead. So you basically have to like drag it. I was like, oh, do you have a list of recommended decorators? She was like, no, no, no. It's designed to be easy. I think it kind of is. I don't think you can go too wrong. What's the price point? Is it more expensive? No, my builder said I needed 20 litres for my kitchen. She said, well, then you'll need 10 litres of our paint. It's going on top of two white undercoats. That was 150 quid or something. A bit more than Durex. It's a gorgeous condom, isn't it? Yeah. Dulux. 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 Cool, right? Yeah. Really cool. I love that. It's good. A bit of interiors love for a Monday. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Good. It's a really tough life. Hi, a really tough Monday. You going for red? No guess. Uh, berry? No. Um, I'm actually going for back. black. Black. I thought it'd be quite fun just to have one nail this colour. Just one festive nail. Jess did that. She had a festive nail on each. Oh, did she? Hand. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. I thought it was being really original. Yeah, right. Hi. Can I have a check on the arm colour? <laughs> How was your spray tan? Cold spray that comes out. No one warned me how cold that was going to be. Cold but worth it. When I first came out, my resounding opinion would have been no. Yeah, you went from kind of a Casper shade to oatmeal to a plain porridge. <laughs> no <laughs> golden syrup. But actually, Ooh. it's starting to come in. You got your nails done. Mm -hmm. Feeling Christmassy. I'm feeling Christmassy, but I haven't really gone Christmassy with my nails. What do you go for? Nudie ballet pink. And like my dress is black. When you say your dress, for what? For both occasions, my black dress is like, tonight. Tonight, That's British nice. Fashion Awards. Ooh, it's, a, it's a big deal. Is there, right? Yeah, it's quite a big deal. It's definitely the most posh event. I will have been to in my life. Who's going to be there? Some celebrities, maybe Alexa Chung will be there. Okay. Everyone will become best friends. Start your own fashion label. Yeah, together. I'm going to try hard not to embarrass myself. Style it out. I'm going to be like... <laughs> I'm just going to be like... Yeah. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Polly, you look like a million dollars. Polly, Victoria, say, what are you wearing today? I rented De La Valley dress from a rental site called My Wardrobe HQ. I'm wearing some spotty tights, which are by Falca. I really love the sleeves, mainly. This fluted vibe is just super cool. So love this gathered detail. Cut out bit here. Yeah. It feels quite gothy in a good way. You're into it? Yeah, I'm into it. Fun! Fun! See you tomorrow! Bye! Did you have fun? You look so fun! Did you have a great movie? I had a really good time. Lots of great people there. Lots of big names! Yeah. Good morning, Georgie Corridge Cole. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. What's going on? Sorry. Oh my god, it's cold in here. Sorry to pound. I've sent you the best dress. Ali's just on my case about um, being making assets. The best dressed where? From the Fashion Awards. Who was there last night besides Polly? Naomi Campbell. Rihanna. Kate Blanchett. Oh my god, you're testing me, you're testing me. It was a big deal though, right? Yeah. It's Anna Winter. Carl Lagerfeld and Spirit. Didn't Carl Lagerfeld get awarded some honorary something? No, it was I don't know why you're asking me, ask Polly, she knows all about it. Uh, what's happening today? Well, we've got Mayor, he's here actually already. Is he? Yeah, he's outside coming to do three day work placement with us. I don't know, I've seen him, he's early, so, tick, so tick, far tick. so good. So far so good. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte, what are you doing? Pushing together the best dress from last night's fashion awards. And who was the best dress? Good question. Polly VC! <laughs> Apart from Polly, who looked banging. My personal fave were the Cape Blanchard, it looked incredible. I also love this. This is Lady Amelia Windsor. This is one of the most replicable dress looks. Clara Sampaio, what a goddess. Be nice to look like that, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. Maybe not for you. Yeah. Yeah. We might look like that for a couple no. of days. Can I have a quick look now? Yes, yes, yes. Like, I've written in the copy oh, that like, Lord. it's just completely inappropriate for the event. I just think the dress is absolutely amazing. I mean, go for it. I, I think, think it's amazing. amazing. It's a talking point, I isn't click it? It's a talking point. Each to their own. Who's that? Lady Amelia Windsor. Yeah, amazing. Mm. I, I absolutely love that. Who's that? Mary Charteris. Literally yeah. the best the best. Like, dress. imagine it's looking It's the red like lift as well. I mean, I know. Can we have a poll? On Emma Weymouth. Best dress. Laura, Polly. Bring it in. Way yes too much. I think, I think she looks like a blamage. She looks like you know on a toilet roll though. You stick those. Uh, yeah. I think it's a nice talking point, isn't it? But is she like, the best dress if we need to cull one? Shut that down. What can we take out? Kate Blanchett. Oh no, I can take out her. Yeah, that's really boring. Yeah. To compromise. Yes. Got it. Okay, so who are your top three? Sara Sampaio. Number. I think that's Kate. gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. And Mary Charteris. It was really good fun. Very cool to be in the room with so many big names. Fangirling from the rafters, shall we say? Who are the big winners? Uh, Daniel Lee. The name on everyone's lips last night. I think he got four awards for Bottega Veneta. It's definitely his. Yeah. Naomi got a fashion icon award. Highlight of the night. A dude to catch. Getting her model of the year award. She was so grateful and happy to get it. Yeah, all in all, a great night. Yeah. Thanks for having me, my wardrobe HQ. Good morning, Khadija. How are you? Really well, thank you. How are you? Very well. What's going on today? We've actually got a young man named Maya who's starting a work taster with Sheer Lux. Really, really excited. A lot of the guys that come onto our program have actually never had a job before. To give them the experience of what it is to work, you know, waking up early, being on time, having that responsibility. For them to almost show themselves how they operate in a workplace. Setting. Super excited. He met Georgie a few weeks ago at one of our workshops and I think they hit off straight away. So it's just been incredible. Cool. Hey. 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 Hey.
my my. That's Re. We were chatting to about analytics Hi, Rhi, and Bella. Right. We were talking Hi, to Bella. about social media, and that's L, Ali, Harriet. I'm yeah. probably going to forget everyone's yeah. name. So. <laughs> if in doubt, Harriet is quite a good one. Yeah. I think there are about yeah. four Harriets. We've got three different sets. Yeah. What's the other segment on the show? Books. Where's Daisy doing books yeah. on the sofa? Yeah, yeah. so we're going to do that. Yeah. See you, Khadija. See you, Khadija. Thanks so much. So that is basically like brand marketing, two videographers, Ali's our designer, the VIP section of the business as well. So it's like a subscription. Though. Exactly, it's VIPs and they get like mm. discounts at bars and restaurants. Yes. Over here is commercial, so Polly's our FD. What's Sam? Is she a meeting? FD, that's a yeah, financial yeah. director. Heather, nice yeah. Yeah. Heather is our lifestyle editor. Harriet. Harriet. So, and that's the Lottie. Nice so to meet you. they coordinate all the content, they build the content, upload the content, basically making everything happen. Oh, it works across all categories. This is Jeff. Becky. Susanna. This is Max. Charlotte. Polly is our fashion assistant. Um, okay, so let's get you set up. How are your computer skills? Pretty good, I imagine. Pretty, pretty yeah. good. Uh, there's a couple really of features we were going to get you to work on. Which were trainers yeah. and gym bags. Yes. Should we just go and sit next door sure. for a couple of minutes and just brainstorm? We thought that a couple of features for January would yeah. be a good place to get started. So we have a content calendar that we work to. And we cover fashion, lifestyle, food, fitness, business, property, yeah. everything and yeah. everything. All the things that I'm naturally into. Yeah, yeah have you got any <laughs> ideas? We'd love to hear them. Yeah. Have a look around as a man. If you think of a cool idea, let us know. Family's yeah. obviously a big time for Definitely. Yeah, that's when everybody has the New Year's resolution yeah. to the gym yeah. for about one week. I didn't make any because I know I'm just going to break it. I don't bother making it. Why set yourself up to fail? Exactly. <laughs> and you could do some research on gym bags and gym mm. trainers. With a gym bag, how do you want to go with it? Either you want it to be formal or you want it to be more it's urban. Also, something that maybe you could take to the office. That would be a bit more interesting because I think guys just go and buy something that's maybe just like functional. With guys, we don't really care for the look as much care more for the convenience exactly. of it. That's why you're all going around, is. you see. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, no, for me, that's I wear clothes for comfort. In terms of good websites to look at, I would look on ASOS, ASOS yeah. Top Man, Zara. John Lewis. With these edits, some man readers have something in common and it's that they want nice things. Some people earn 25 grand a year, some people earn 125 grand a year. So we're always thinking about all price something ranges. for everybody. You might have a gym bag that's 200 quid, 20, you might have one that's 30, 25 yeah. quid, yeah. But we probably don't want anything much cheaper than 30, this. and I don't think go over 200. Should have no way. If I spend 200 in a gym bag, I better be able to wear that to a wedding. It still looks stylish with it. I'm here with my gym bag, costing 250 quid. Yeah, yeah. straight and put it on the groom's table so everyone can see. What are we doing now? Setting up the hub for the Christmas party. We've got some Christmas oh, cool. garland, wreaths, and trees, and all sorts. So are we doing it on our own? Are we getting some help? This is Emma. I'm Hi. Hello, Emma. How are you doing? Right. What's the key to a good wreath? Lots and lots and lots of decorations. I think big. Bigger than love it. it. Oh, yeah. I love traditional wreaths. Loads of oranges, cinnamon, Berries. Looks great. If people don't want to make a wreath, what can they do? Buy from Bramble and Willow. We sell around the UK, so yeah, you can deliver wherever you are. Do you want to grab that end? Yeah. Otherwise, we can have it sitting right up, and then you won't no, see no, it. No, no, I think that's good. You excited? I'm excited. Do you promise to show me the finished product? I will do. It's a shame because I was going to keep it as a surprise, but I think it's easier to do it like this. But yeah, we'll see it at the end, either today or tomorrow. The biggest fan yeah. of what? Gavin Stacey, the best. Literally not the best. She is the best. Yeah. Gavin's mom. Yeah. She is amazing. Alison Stedman. Yeah. She's my favourite. Nessa. Yeah. 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 What's the cure in? What's the cure I love the idea of her and James Corden's friendship as well. She's really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Ruth Jones. Yeah. 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 I used to work in this cafe. Oh, she used to come away You're Welsh too, aren't you? Mm -hmm. It's a small right, place. Let's go. Cardi. Thanks. Lovely. Oh my god, the tree, you guys. That looks so nice. Hi, Daisy. Morning, Daisy. How are you? Great. I'm very excited about talking about my favourite favourite books of the year. What are your favourite books of the year? My husband's brand new book, Painfully British Haikus. Coziest cookbook, perfect for lazy people like me. Queenie at Candice Carty Williams, one of the big smash hits of the year. The Black British Jones, very relatable for anyone in their 20s living in London. Bella Ellis, Bronte Mysteries. Bronte themselves are in the story, solving murders. That's the book you want. How are you doing? Yeah. Everything okay? What are you going to be doing now? I'll be doing the time and Bella. Oh, I've remembered, man. She just explained everything to me. I just feel like I've been doing it for a long time. He's experienced now. Part of the crew. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to be here. I'm going home now. Right. What got delivered? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Chrissy Rucker. Yeah. Okay. Does it look straight? Yeah, as long as nobody nudges it. What do you reckon? Christmas ready? Very Christmas ready. Hello, and welcome to the Sheer Luck Show. Speaking of Christmas, Christmas TV is upon us. But it's 10 years on. Is that how long it's been? Yeah, so here on the baby's going to be 10. I mean, they all look great, but even so. 
And finally, finally Roaring, Roaring Girls, Girls, the like forgotten like feminists of British history. That's for trainers, and there's one for gym bags, perfect. Gym bags. So have a look through that list, and if you save as many links as you can. If you're not sure, put it in, and then you can always. Yeah, cool. All right, if you need anything, shout, all right? What's happened this morning? How's it going? I think it's going well. I mean, he's a great guy. Top guy. He's, isn't he? Yeah. Lots of charisma. Hopefully this is the start of a new future for him. First day, he's done a job. He's met the team. Been around on the show today. Seeing how the show works is quite a good way to start. I work on some product roundups for SL Man. Yeah, that's it. So far, so good. Hello. What have you been doing in here? Making this as crisp as I possibly can. Go the tree, bits around the Sherlock sign. And then I've had Bramble and Willow do a big garland along the back of the sofa. Wreath and more garlands. Everyone's going to put their secret Santa under the tree. And they're going to do secret Santa and the Christmas party. <laughs> Full on bringing the Christmas vibes. You've absolutely nailed it. Good, I'm glad. There's a bit more to still go around tomorrow. It's going to be some stuff on the table. Bar, and some nice Christmassy food and mild wine and all the things. It's very Christmassy, but it's yeah. not tacky at all, is it? Well, it's also sort of Sherlock-y. Pink and things. I quite like the maroon, that's my favourite bit. It's getting a bit more festive rather than just pinks and golds. Bring a bit more depth, you know? You've absolutely nailed it. Yeah, that's a good one. Good morning, Lou! Hey! Oh, Welcome. You live here now? Yeah, welcome to my store. Good morning, Lou, how are you? How was your weekend? So nice. Where were you? I had the nicest weekend. On Sunday I went to see Love Actually Live. Oh, how was that? Most amazing thing ever. So festive and so romantic and so magical. It was amazing. Monday and Tuesday I was at the pit. The new one in Kent. The weather was absolutely out of this world. Blue skies, no clouds, so fresh. Just lush. What are we doing today? We are at Bash. Again? Um, again, Charlotte and I are going to do a bit of a store tour. Pull out some of our favourite pieces, try a couple of things on. Really excited. You know everything about this stuff, right? Because yeah. you've so this is going to be quite easy for you. We'll walk around the store, talk about the collection as a whole. Almost turning last week's event into watchable content for our viewers. Exactly. That's very nice of you. Yeah, you're welcome. Morning, guys. Hello. Morning, guys. Hello. Morning, Eloise. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm not looking my finest because wow. party later. I want to do a big transformation. What's special about today? It's Christmas party day. Whoop, whoop. You excited? So excited, although so tired. Good morning, Mayor. How are you? Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. Hello. Hi, Blue. Really nice to meet you. So we're kind of filming it back to front. So the end of the video. We'll do cutaways and try on all the products. Charlotte's trying on something now. We'll then work backwards, do a tour of the store. We'll talk through the rails, through the product, through the styling, pull out things, chat about the product, chat about the brand. Our readers always love to see what things are like on. So we're trying them on. It's called Bath. French brand. It's relaxed, casual, everyday, chic. Was it like one of those brands that you have to be like a fashion new store? It's a bit of both. Mid price point, I guess. Higher than like a Zara, but not as expensive as like a Gucci. Lou, what are you wearing now? Softest leather pants you could ever possibly imagine. From here? Yeah. And a really, really cool tweed wool blazer. Really soft actually and not itchy at all. Classic boots. White t-shirt. Lou Huff, what are you wearing now? Classic bash frill shirt. Georgie has got one. I really want one. How's the shoot going? She's going good. Each got one final look to do. And then we'll do our whip around the store. Mm. I'm so surprised at how much I like this outfit. I thought we should throw in some colour. It wasn't necessarily my top pick. I've got this red skirt. I love. Teamed with this big black jumper. And the boots. What a lovely festive look. We're here today at the bash store in Covent Garden to pick out some of our favourite pieces. What are you talking about? The, the street. Uh, I can just hear it. No, it's this guy. No, it's like a street cleaner. Yeah, you can hear the brushes. We're here today at the Bash store in Covent Garden. There he is. He's coming stuff. this way. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's not coming back. It doesn't look like he's coming back. No. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, let's go. Bash are obviously a hero for so many different things. That means knitwear, coats, dresses. This rail of new in is a case in point. Right, guys. No. That's a wrap, isn't it? Yeah, that's a wrap. How did that go? Really, yeah. really good. Bash is obviously one of our favourite brands. It's been so fun working with them. Feeling very festive. Yeah. Are you Christmas party ready now, guys? <laughs> oh my god, we've got so much work to do. Yeah, it's so party. much to do. How many hours have we got now? Six hours till Christmas party no, starts. No, five hours. Okay. Maya, how was your first day as a sound operative? It was great. It was so it's a, a complete win? It's a win-win. Win-win. You've got a haircut. Very smart. Yeah. Looking very dapper this morning. I like glasses. Cool, he's rocking a different vibe today. Yeah. He went home and he was like, shit, those girls are on it. I've got to crush up my game. I've seen it all now. That, you cannot. Holly, what are you doing? My hands are so cold. I can't warm them up. You can't use a computer with mittens. No, I mean, no. Go and run around outside and come back in. I think that's what she needs to do. Georgie Corridge, Cole, what's on your desk? Joe Malone. She's a tough job, isn't it, mate? Spectacular scenting by Joe Malone. What have you got? This is a goodie. Look what I got. I know I got one as well. 
Did you? Oh, how lovely is that? This is really famous, this smell. Can you pass me that? Do you know who this is from? No, who's it from? This is from Dr. Sibthal. Amaretti biscuits, white chocolate and raspberry. Oh, mince pie. Oh, I like things like dried dates. Oh, I love a date. Grapes. I don't really eat sweets. I like chocolate, though. I do like chocolate. What's your favourite chocolate? White chocolate. The white chocolate with the milky bar. Buenos. Oh, I love Kinder Bueno. What the peanut? They did the little peanut. Oh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, Probably yeah. my favourite thing, yeah. actually. Look, what is this? I reckon this could be nice. I quite like hazelnut. Go on. Sorry, very rude. I'm How's it taste? Really How's it taste? Really good. How's it taste? Mm. I really like those. Thanks. Thank you very much, Dr. Sibthorpe. Oh. Last thing from Van der Rohe. This is men's stuff, apparently. One for your hubby. Hope he falls in love with it. Nourishing face serum for men. It smells like a spa, right? Yeah. It will transform your skin. From what to what? It's nourishing. <laughs> it's hydrating. That's what it is. Thank you very much. My husband will love that. That's what's on my desk. I think it might be time to explore your party makeup look for tonight. I haven't actually decided yet. That's how I could be part of the process. Hi. Becky, Hi. you already look amazing. Thanks. But how are you going to transform? Transform your now face into your party face. I haven't fully decided yet. Look at this. Oh full of makeup. That's no, a I toolbox and a half. I'm thinking of using oh, Nars's re eyeliner, oh, smudging oh, it. For a smoky down. green. Smoky green. And then putting Shiseido wet shimmery copper over it. But it will obviously look better than that. Or I'm thinking of using Makes face gloss. I'm gonna wing it basically, Rich. It creates more of a sort of wet look eye. Do you see? I think you look great with a wet look eye. I think it would look good too, Rich. There you go. Very metallic. Finish. Very metallic for me. Kind of like poison ivy. That is the vibe. And then for a lip I will be wearing tonight, Nars's Dolce Vita. The sweet life. The sweet, sweet life. That's going to be my look. Into You'll see me transformed. Days. I can't wait for that, to be honest. I feel like I look a mess. You are. How was today? Today was great, as usual. What were your highlights? New experiences. Always welcome progress. New challenges. That means better progress. That's just how I see it. See, I'm getting more used to the camera now. Alright, bye ladies. See you tomorrow. Alright, bye bye. See you later. Oh, it's Christmas in here. Hi, man. How are you doing? How are you? Yeah, well, Merry Christmas, everyone. How are you doing? Good. What's going on in here? It's our coming now. Oh, she's been in Ghana. Oh, I yeah. missed her. What kind of base are we making? What have we got? Tuna, which isn't out yet. Avocado and wasabi caviar. Duck pancakes with poison sauce. Mushroom dumplings. Guacamole with quails egg. Cured cucumber. Vegan spinach and mushroom rolls. Okay, which one's your favourite? Vegan ones. These are vegan ones. ones. The meat ones. So we've got two cocktails on the menu for tonight. Winter mojito, spice rum, ginger beer syrup, mint, lime, and ginger beer. Christmas gin cocktail, which is gin, lemon juice, and cranberry juice, and shaking dash of soda. Where are you from? We have from cocktail. Ah, it's a sparkly jacket. That is a sparkly jacket. <laughs> oh, you look great. Really feeling festive? Feeling festive. Trying to get the festive tunes on now, though. Ready. Oh, was that step into Christmas? Play from there. Yeah, point at it. That one. Play from there. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Keep for the year. These are all of our secret Santa Christmas presents. Who's that for? Harriet's love joy. Feels bookish. Oh, Georgie. Feels for Maya. A bottle of something. Shampoo or alcohol? Alcohol. For Ali. Should I shake it? Nothing's moving. It's just air. It smells like Christmas in here, guys. What was that? What? What happened? Oh, sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back off. Sorry, I didn't know. All right, I'm going to back out. I would have to say downstairs is in the lead as far as like getting ready. It's good to... Are you all ready? Can you tell if I've done an eyebrow? The right eyebrow. I'm dyslexic, the left eyebrow. <laughs> what are you hoping to get for Secret Santa? New AirPods. Oh, yeah, I think you'll get those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Glamour first, how are you doing? Oh, good, yeah. Makeup look. It's not why I envisage Rich. I ended up going Bobby Brown's galactic smoky lid pencil all over and then buffed in Gillian Dempsey's black eyeliner because it's really budge proof. And then I've got a lot of Milk's Kush mascara on. That is my look in one. Tips from a pro. Tips from a pro. Look at you. I can jump out of an aeroplane and survive. Your Christmas party ready? <laughs> yeah, is that from Nasty Girl? It's from Amazon. Lovely, isn't it? It's very nice. I don't know if it's going to last the night. You look great. Cressida Micklin. What are you wearing today? Black Top from Anim B. Black tailored trousers. Shoes from Bash. In your bag? Amazon. Jess. What are you wearing today? Under the Stories dress. Boots. Are we taking off Stuart White Smith. Stuart White Smith boots. Nice. Oh, earrings. Oliver Bennett. Samantha Jerome. What are you wearing today? Self portrait dress. Very nice. And some earrings from Accessorize. Merry, Merry Christmas. Have a great party. Guys, what time is it? Christmas party time. What time is it, Max? Party time. Party time. <laughs> Drinking. How's it taste? We had the gingerbread one and it was amazing. It even smells like Christmas. If you could aerosol Christmas, this is it. Cheese for the senses. Feeling Christmassy? Yeah! Why can you not feel Christmassy? Right. Hasn't she done well? First of all, I've got to say, Jess. <laughs> I was talking to 
tomorrow today. And I was just saying. But this has been like such an amazing year for Sherlock. Like, we've always had the support of our readers. I feel like this year we've had the support of the industry and individuals in a really new way. I'm just so excited for next year. I say it every year how well it's going. Such a team <laughs> effort. <laughs> but if it's not me, we're going to prank on tomorrow. They're far too healthy. Instead, Laura and I are going to Marks and Spencer's to do a haul. We're going to come back filled with comfort food. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. I think all that remains is a full house team picture. Can we all fit onto the colour armour? Yeah. <laughs> the landscape. <laughs> landscape. <laughs> landscape. Okay, like, like, smiling. We need to decide on a theme. Guys, you're having a good pie. Yay! New half, what are you wearing today? Favourite new mango knit, high in demand. Skirt from Zara. Tights from Felt. Very old Miss Selfridge boots. Earrings from Andalus Royal. Laura Black, what are you wearing today? Very some best of sparkles. Zara top. Old H&M. Velvet trousers. Some really old shoes. And a headband by Zaba. You're having a good party. Georgie, who made the food? Zara's kitchen. Who's Zara? My cousin. Oh, it's good. So good. Have you had one of those? It's falafel with cheese and spicy. Oh my God, oh my God. So, so good. I'm eating cold pork. But Serena, how am I going to eat this? Very elegant. How's that? Good. You're going to finish it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're going to be late. We're going to be late. Secret Santa. Wow, what's in there? What do you think's in there? I know who it's from though. Who's it from? Freak. She's the only one that calls me a bebe. Oh, it's just me. Yeah. Polly, what do you think's in there? A dog bone for Louie. Do you know, but it's beautifully wrapped. I love presents. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I got Lou. You think you got Lou? Georgie, should we find out what's in yours first? That's the best thing for Santa ever. Like, literally, that's life. Oh. What do you mean? I don't know it's me. It could be anyone. Thank you. I was happy with the pick of it. What have you got? Well done, Secret Santa. I got a giant, like a roller. Oh. What did you get? Pop it on! It's in my car. What did you get? Festive dog treat. An eyeshadow palette. Oh, fuck it. I got a notebook and a pen. You've got loads of great ideas, haven't you? I know. You can write them down. I got it. You lied. What? I said to you, who would be my secret sensor? Well, I wasn't going to say you, was I? You said so. Let's hang him up and give him a good smack. You gotta smash it, it's full of sweets. They're poking out, they're poking out. All right. See what? Oh my god! Okay. go! Yeah. Where are we going now, Charlotte? To the club. How are you all doing? Really well! Yay. How's the Christmas party going? It's fantastic! Where are we going now? Oh, just What's gonna happen there? Lots of good songs, lots of karaoke. What's been the song of the night? Call Me Maybe. Ah, oh, what an answer. Charlotte and Lou were on the table. Living their best life. It was a step out for Charlotte, who's usually so shy. You really okay, come well, out of your shell tonight. Come on, ladies, break down. Hey! Oh, yeah. We're in for a good night tonight. Hey, guys! How's it going guys? What's going on? It's going well. Have a good night. I feel like everyone in here was having a really like, gentle start to their evening. We came in, boom, we took it to another level. A couple yeah. of guys in the corner having the best time of their lives. Roger Ned having a really jolly time. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Christmas party! Is it time for me to say goodbye? Yeah! Bye everybody! Merry Christmas! Can you please go and get me a bacon sandwich? Hungover? Yeah. Out of ten, how hungover are you? Nine. Nine. That's pretty fucking strong. That's Who's your favourite person that's there? Surely Ellie's had to be Rianne, her dancing partner. Rianne, who is conspicuous by her absence. <laughs> oh, 9.35. 9.35, she's late. Richie and Harriet had a bit of a drive. The most uncool dance known to man, the hand jive. I literally just turned around and I was like, what the? I was in Greece when I was a kid. It turns out I remember how to do the hand jive. Oh, here she is. Uh, no. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
But at least you're on time. Exactly. Don't look at me. You might be a little bit late, but still. <gasps> Where's Elle? Last person in. Oh my god! Oh, she did. <laughs> Eloise. Eloise, you still got it. How you doing? How was last night, Elle? What was the song of the night? I was obviously always going to be Whitney Houston and I got somebody. What was your song? Yeah. Anyway. Becca Hall! How are you? Good, I'm just on the hunt for some sugar. There's some sugar in these guys. Oh, so much fun. We're too much fun. One of the best Christmas parties yet, I think. And Georgie, oh. Jesus Christ. She's setting the standard, like, yeah. this is us. That's our boss. If Morning! Morning! How are you doing? Alright, you're a party animal. I wouldn't call one of a party animal. No, 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 but you are in well. Yeah, 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 it was fun, wasn't it? But I actually didn't drink very much. I'm so busy dancing. I don't actually want to talk hung over. I'm going to go out to Mark this morning. Great night. Great night. Oh my god, this yeah. is where the donuts were yesterday. No. They... Hands off our donuts, I think that was. I'm just sort of gathering snacks. Oh, wait. Like, How has that happened? No, but this always happens in this office. What? What? Look at these. Alright, don't take the boat. There's one each. I don't know what they're. It's always they're... worth a look, you see. What kind of no, maniacs really they've got down here? Here, but they're not eating the Maltesters. How fun was that night? So much fun. What a fun place. Hey, morning, Hattie. How are, how are you? you? Good. How are you? All right. The main thing is I've located my secret Santa. Yeah. I've located my pick and mix. I didn't know you lost it, but that's good. So, Georgie, this is it. It's the final day. It's the final day. Oh, sorry about your good podcast. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's the final day. Oh. Can't be a shrimp, eh? No, I'm, I don't actually like this. What's happening today? It's a show day. Oh no, it's your final day before Christmas. Yeah. Final day of the decade. May last day today. And we're going to go on a hangover expedition. We are. So where are we going later? Good morning, Good morning, May. How are you doing? Looking the threads. Oh, thanks. Got the whole suit on. This is my friend's label. No way. Yeah, it's all, it's all fit. What's it called? Living Legend. And by today, it's the last day. It's been so good. I wish I had your job. I'm back off, right? Yeah. <laughs> Laura Black, where are we going now? To m Are you excited? Yeah. We're going snack shopping. Go to this new m and food tour. Have you been to this food tour? Yeah. I haven't. I don't know that much about it. I popped in for five minutes. It's a bit of a concept store for them, is it? Everyone I mean, keeps coming into the office going, oh oven. my God, this new m and you've got to go, it's got a pizza it's oven. It's got a pizza oven, which looks like a glitter ball. I've always wanted one of those. Doesn't everybody. So we thought we'd go and look at what they've got to make Christmas really easy, because I'm a bit of a cheat when it comes to cooking. <laughs> going to go and see what they've got for Christmas. Oh. God, I've really got to start some Christmas shopping. Oh. It makes a bit panicky. Do I need to sneak in? Probably. I, I'll see you in there. So I come in here on Mondays and Thursdays. I do the harvest on the front air. What's happening? Oh, All these are growing in here. In this thing? Yes. Fresh right. going here. Warm in there. Yes, it's about 23 degrees in there. Are you a herbologist? I have a degree in horticulture. What's your favourite herb? Probably golden crest. What's yeah. golden crest? It's got kind of a mustard flavour. Let's talk about these. Dew drop grapes. What do they taste like? And she goes, Oh, look at that. They look like a big long bean. It's not good when you've got chewing gum in your mouth. No. How are you doing that? Not. Open fire. I love those. Just frying a bit of soy. Delicious. Oh, buns. Buns, buns, buns. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Look, 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 look. Vietnamese. Oh, should we have those? Yeah, but can you make them in the microwave? Yeah. Microwave, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Microwave. Yeah, MS party food. Can't be wrong. Corn sumai. A couple of those. Oh, I love a pink. Penguins. Brands that you know, isn't it? It's comforting. Is that going to be enough? No. 12 penguins for 30 people. Okay. You know what I love? I love these. Yeah, can we get these? Oh, I love a <laughs> Mama, can we get these? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else, but anything else in the trolley. <laughs> I used to eat one of these every day for lunch. 100% the main calorie one? chocolate muffins. Dang. So good. Oh, yeah, we found it. We found it. Conte, Conte, Conte. Should we get a couple of French sticks? Yeah, yeah really nice. Yeah, the fluffles. Oh, they're reduced. They're really nice. Well, prawn crackers. Do you know what I'd like? A mulled wine for lunch. Think we're I'll have one. For more one now. At lunchtime. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it would really sort me out. Should we get six and have them in the office? They'll get drunk over the next few weeks. I think we didn't spend enough money last night. Let's just spend more. <laughs> oh, now look, this is interesting. I have been saying this about a decade ago. I said these cards, all they need to do is bundle it up in the supermarket. Does have fun though. Truffle Raw pesto chicken tray. Chicken. You up for that? What are the options? I'm having this. Parma ham rat um, cake. Oh yum. yeah, I'm coming around. Good choice. <laughs> 10 minutes prep, 30 minutes cooking time. I need olive oil, salt and pepper. It tells me what wine to pair it with. That's really clever. So you're going for the palm wrapped ham. What are you going for? I go for the baked halloumi. Oh, what's this one? Italian style steak with cannellini crush. That is it. That is me. That's a bit of me. Bread? Yeah. Or, or and these. These look really good. Freshly made ciabatta. Oh, half fat hummus. The m &S one's the best. Tzatziki, anyone? Tzatziki. Yeah, yeah. Guac? Yeah. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's loads. We've got a bag of carrots there. Yeah. I'm quite methodical about my packing. There's a sandwich. There's a sandwich. How did that go? I, I wouldn't necessarily travel across London. To go to that Marks and Spencer's food hall. But if that's what they're doing with their food halls, I think 
It's bloody brilliant. It's really good. It has like a really modern, supermarket. really convenient cool branding. What was your pick of the shop? Bad bun. Those put together kit packs. I've been saying that someone should do that for years. It's good. We've got lots of goodies. I hope we're going to satisfy everyone's hunger, but I think so. They're waiting patiently for us. What'd you go for? We've got a very interesting assortment. Honey barbecue this. A dumpling. A different type of dumpling. Falafel wrap. Two bits of cheese. And a yeah. bit of cured pot. Oh, oh, what'd you go for? A mishmash. I don't know what else to call it, huh? Ree, really, what'd you get? A mixture. Crab. Corn avocado. Some guys, re things. And two carrots. Two carrots. <laughs> not going to overdo it on the carrots. Let's not get too healthy. Yeah, it works. Are you guys having like a team plate? Well, yeah, because there was only got one plate upstairs, so we decided we'd share. Yeah. That's so cute. Times are hard here at Shillax, a plate between two. Yeah, I know. Bon appetito! Ciao for now! Right, thanks everyone! Gee, what's just happened? Maya has just had the most captive audience for I think an hour talking to us about his life, what he's been through. It's fascinating and I feel very lucky to have met him. I know he's going to go on to do great things. We've loved having him. Anyway, it's the end of the day. It's the end of the series. Get some sleep. We'll see you next year. Bye Happy guys! Christmas. Bye. Bye. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas!